oh man we will be talking about a weird car on today but stay towards the end to where we will talk about the actual car that is for sale is it worth it now based off looks this remind me of like a mom car to be honest but this car has a little sports dna how come you will see no i'm not talking about the seller who done something really crazy but this was actually from factory from 19 88 which has started in north america which they threw something in now it ain't nothing too crazy now it was just a detuned engine from a supra which was a 7m a dash ge which was the most powerful power plant in the crusadas in north america uh, 190 horsepower 185 foot pound of torque and zero to 60 8.8 seconds now to you the numbers don't scream but back then it was you know a little something but it still wasn't something if you get what i'm saying this car was very reliable and luxurious but you know it had its cons it was very poor with its layout especially for you know the rear uh passengers uh seats smaller trunk but the reason why because this was based off a supra platform like the suspension and all that it had excessive body roll and yes it was slow eventually after 92 camry uh took over in north america and they also was going after the e300s which was the lexuses you know lexuses started coming out so those was more desirable and more cheaper too well they was pretty high but it, it offered a little more compared to the Corsado. After looking at the Edmonds Blue Book and Kelly Blue Book, the car is going around 55 to 85. Now, a private party, I would say about 55 to 70. Dealerships, probably about eight, seven to eight. Now, it depends on the condition of the car, too, because if the car in crappy condition, you can look around, I say about a grand to three, depending on the condition. Now, I've been looking at these uh, reviews and stuff about the cars, well, Corsetta in general, um, and uh, they seem, you know, pretty reliable. I don't see no one necessarily complaining about a car. Um, yeah, you have somebody talking about having 218,000 miles and still running and they recommended that they would buy i mean this car have you know pretty good solid history like i said it's got good reliability and you know it's luxurious going at 19 miles per gallon i guess the cost to drive is like 212 dollars a month um four speed automatic rear wheel drive inline six uh regular unleaded you know just the basic boring little stuff um got your fuel tank capacity 18 18 and a half gallons base engine size of 3.0 liter and then we already named the horsepower and all that we already named the drivetrain so nothing too crazy so guys this was the moment that we have been waiting for the 1990 toyota Corsada luxury sedan four-door this guy won 10 grand for it based out of alabama now based off the looks i give it a eight out of ten i like the color and i like the body uh, style a hundred thousand miles manual transmission um blue exterior interior yesterday vehicle is paid off um in the description he do have a 6.2 swap in it he have uh ar5 five speed and also got other little goodies like with the 19 inch uh wheels and all that he do have an issue with oil pressure but it might be something small to where you probably can figure it out and you know just call it a day so I might have to knock the price down for that. Probably around 95, 94, uh, 100. Now, like I said, based off the looks. Now, this car looked pretty damn cool. I like the stents on it. And I it, it do it do give a you know a little good vibe. I dig the Euro bumper uh that he have on there. 
And oh, a LS, a LS swap, six point two, a LS man. Everybody trying to LS everything, but that's that's pretty dope. You got more reliability, and you know? oh, and I know that thing will like be a rocket. I I forgot. I should have known. I should have seen how much the car weighed. But I'm pretty sure it don't weigh that much. But man, this car look clean. Y'all let me know down, you know, in the comments down below what y'all think about this car. Is this car worth around ten grand? I would say ninety four. I would say between eight to ninety five. Honestly, with him having that oil pressure problem, but the parts and all that he probably put into the car probably you know. Might be worth around ten grand that he uh, asking for, and depending on the condition of the car, um, inside which they had no photos, but outside looked pretty clean. Um, I would yeah, I would say give the man ten grand, but honestly, I'd go about ninety four. But you don't want to low ball yourself too, so I I don't know how much the six point two liter uh, LSs are. So yeah, I say ten grand a fair price. Y'all let me know down below. And that would be it. Stay tuned for more. See y'all.